Welcome back to Vegan and Coco. My name is Jess. This is a vegan cooking show. And today we're making some ratatouille. And so I've already chopped up a bunch of my vegetables. For this recipe, you can um, definitely substitute some vegetables if you don't have exactly what um, we've got in our recipe on hand. Um, so I've chopped up about one green pepper. Um, I got about a cup of mushrooms. I also have about a cup of tomatoes that have been diced. And what you can do, um, you should do um, peeled and seeded diced tomatoes. If you don't have that, if you've got canned tomatoes, that's fine by me. Just drain the um, can before you use them. I also have about a medium to you know good size zucchini chopped up and I got about a large onion also chopped up. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get started on chopping up my eggplant and I will meet you at the stove. <laughs> We got medium high heat here, about medium heat for our pan. I'm going to add some olive oil, just about a tablespoon, a little bit more. Um, and what we're going to do first is add our garlic, and you're going to want to add about two cloves of minced garlic. And I've got my handy dandy frozen, easy to use garlic. We're just going to let this go for about a minute. looks ready to me so I'm gonna add um, about that that one large onion and we're gonna let this cook until it turns translucent so it should take about uh, five or five minutes I think should be fine so we're just gonna let that cook down okay looking pretty good um, Eh, not quite translucent, but good enough for me. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to add um, a little bit of tomato paste. And so this is going to hopefully cook for about a minute, and it'll get um, dark and hopefully smell very sweet. So I'll just let this go uh, about a minute. And uh, after we do that, what we're going to do is add some um, vegetable broth. And the vegetable broth we're going to use to deglaze the pan. And um, if you don't have vegetable broth, go ahead and use some water. Um, if you want to get a little more creative with it, you could probably try some dry cooking sherry. Um, that would probably turn out really nice. So we're just going to let this cook for about a minute. Get all my tomato paste in there. It's been about a minute. Tomato paste um, has darkened nicely a sweet scent to it so we're going to add about a third of a cup of vegetable broth and what we're going to do with this is just scrape up all the bits that are on the bottom of the pan get all that good flavor right off the bottom of the pan and so this will just take about a minute or two just to get that going and if you've got a non-stick pan this shouldn't take long at all in fact I think I'm about done so we'll just let the flavors come together with that. All right. Looks good. So I'm going to start adding my vegetables. I've got uh, my zucchini. And I got about two cups of that eggplant that I chopped up. green peppers and the mushrooms and we're gonna go ahead and let this cook for about 15 20 minutes and uh, you want the vegetables to be just tender you don't want to overcook them you don't want them to be falling apart so I'm just gonna get this stirred up together 
and uh, we're going to let it go. Um, just come and stir it every once in a while, and it should be all right. So. Our veggies are nice and tender, so I'm going to add our tomatoes. And we're just going to let this cook for another couple of minutes, two or three. Just stir it in. And you want to just do this till they're heated through. And especially if you're using canned tomatoes, they're already cooked for the most part. So we'll just let them work their way into the rest of the ingredients. And we'll be ready to add our basil and our parsley. Now I've already chopped up our basil and parsley, and so I've got about two tablespoons each of fresh. If you don't have fresh on hand, what you can do is um, add probably about a teaspoon of dried pa uh, parsley and basil, and you'll want to do that um, when you added all the vegetables in. Dry herbs uh, tend to take heat a little easier than the fresh herbs do, so that's why a lot of times you'll see recipes where they've added the um, fresh herbs at the end of the recipe. That way you don't want to overcook or um, pretty much ruin them. So I'm going to go ahead and add the basil and the parsley. Let's get that all mixed in. It smells wonderful in here and the colors look beautiful for this recipe. So um, as soon as I get that mixed together, I'm going to add some uh, salt and pepper to taste. So I got a little bit of salt. And some pepper. Give that a quick stir. And your ratatouille is pretty much finished. And I'm going to be enjoying this for dinner this evening. So, um, Thanks for joining us at vegan -A -Go -Go. Uh, If you'd like to send us any recipe ideas or comments, you can do that at fans at veganagogo.com. And if you just want to check out the recipes or, you know, even look at our website, um, you can do that at veganagogo.com. So uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.